up to date. I'm not sure about him. Me, yeah? Will you change the rules so we can wear these? Probably not. So what's the point really? How much were they? 25 and then massage your hands as well. That's so weird, letting some stranger massage your hands. You're weird and that's why we're not voting for you. Well, I'm just saying. No one cares Nadine. <laughs> just tell her you forgot your kit. I said that last week. Tell her you lost it. No, she'll get me off my cupboard and last week the shorts met at Cheesy Puffs. I like Cheesy Puffs. Oh, look at the oh, wow. Well, that's my pen! Who would do that in their shorts and, and then carry them around with them? Who would do that? Thing. Would you mind voting for me, Nadine? Um, I'm a very compassionate person and I really like the environment and I just want to make the school a better place. I vote Nadine, please, yeah. Vote Nadine. Yeah. Hi. Vote Nadine. Vote Nadine. So, vote for me, please. School rep. Oh, we ain't even gone in yet. No, where were you? Were you voting? Sign up for the auditions. We auditioned. Well, you should have been voting. Can't believe we got her on time now. <laughs> right, okay everyone, settle down. When you come in... Wait! Is oh. everything all right? They seem a bit rowdy. Um, yeah, can you all just sit down please and get your pencils out? Good idea. Yeah. Look, we've got a lot to do today. Why don't you just go to the headmaster's office and do the rehearsal schedule or something? Thanks. No, no, get off, get off. Yeah, yeah. So, how had you got on the test? Yeah, it was really good. I just didn't get some of it. But... Uh, yeah, yeah, same here. I, I knew a lot of it, just didn't get some of the bits. Yeah, so... Maybe we should help each other out. Yeah, okay. Mm, maybe next time in the library. Just yeah. Before the talk. Sure. Vote for 
me, right? Listen, I've already told you I don't want it. No, but it would mean a lot if you voted for me. It really would. All right. Yeah? Go away, Lily. Thank you. Hi. Oh, Ring Mum. She'll be at work. Just tell me she feel ill. I could say I feel sick. Yeah, I'll be fine. Alison caught a fungal nail infection from the trainers Miss made her wear when she forgot her kit. Oh, shut up. And her nail went black and fell off. Oh, great. Headmaster! Headmaster, are you in there? Hello? Jules, Miss Ellen wanted you to have. <laughs> Headmaster, I've got the schedules for you from Miss Allen. stop you. for anyone. Then what's the point? There is no point. That is the point. Uh. came to this school. So, at the beginning, in year seven, I used to go to a very nice posh school back in London, where I used to live. And then something bad happened. My dad went bankrupt. It was horrible. I, I, we had no money for anything. We lost our house, we lost our cars, I lost my horses, and we had to move. We had to move to the cheapest place possible. We had to move here. Now I go to this school and everyone teases me because I'm the posh one, the one who speaks properly. And to be honest, I just find it really annoying because they just, they just don't get me. No one gets me here. I, I really miss my friends from my old school and none of them will speak to me now because they say I'm poor. It's like they only liked me because of my money. And now I'm here without any friends because no one wants to speak to me because I'm that new kid. It's horrible. That's the story of how I came to this school. Enjoy your time at Darton High. I know I certainly won't. I'm saying it really my day, not like any day is. Ever since I've come to secondary school, it's a bit like, you know, and everyone really, really annoys me here with suck ups, just sucking up to me. It's like, I need some space and things like that, it just really annoys me. I think they just suck up with me because I have so many parties. But like, it's all easy for me because my parents, I don't know, they like, they don't really care. 
Mm, yeah, it's a bit sad actually. But um, I don't know really. Yeah, and um, actually today I had a really, really bad argument with my best friend. She's not the only person I have left because everyone else sort of, I don't know, think I'm a bit horrible. But I actually admitted to being wrong today and it's actually made me a lot better. I don't even know how, but I think I'm getting better. They take a lot of damage at school just because I'm different. Then there is one girl who thinks it's okay to pick on me all the time. I don't know why. But she keeps making these TikToks and noises. Like it's like something's running out. It confuses me. But I got a new job at school running my own club. I still thought it would be amazing, but it sounds okay. I'm running a club that I created with my best friend. Friendship Squad. It makes other people feel better about themselves and it completely forgets about what I think. Today was all right. Dad's car broke down, so we was like half an hour late. And then I got shouted at by a load of random teachers. I mean, who do they think they are? Then I just chatted for the rest of the day. And yeah, chewed some gum, got shouted at again, got a detention, gossiped with my sister and my friends. But yeah, Darton High is all right. 